It's the most wonderful time of the year. It is what I got for Christmas. Let's get into it. I got a couple of really beautiful things. First off, I got these earrings from Tiffany. They aren't anything that I would have personally picked out for myself. That's what I love about Christmas because I feel like, you know, when you're gift giving, when you're receiving a gift, you never know what you're gonna, what's actually gonna take you by surprise. And these beautiful little sterling silver and pearl drop earrings are actually gorgeous. By the way, if you're new here, hi, my name is Christina and I love luxury and lifestyle. And um, I love jewelry and I love books and I love firewood and fireplaces and that's pretty much my personality <laughs> so we're gonna unbox one present that i haven't opened yet and this is um, a present that contains some goodies from Adil. i do have a code with them so if you'd like to check them out down below and i'm really proud to introduce that this is their new unboxing experience so you guys are seeing it for the first time live this is i get to kind of debut their first new their new unboxing experience which i'm super excited for because wow the presentation already is killing it how are you guys doing how did everybody do this christmas ours was a little bittersweet um we have some family members who are struggling in more than one way so you know it's it's been a little rough to be honest with you but it makes you count your blessings so much more and try to be there as best you can for family that needs you but fam holidays are hard man it's not always it's not always like super cheerful and po like toxically positive sometimes you know so all right so here's the new get ready to sparkle i need to figure out who does their boxes because we need this for the amber experience all right so let's unbox my goodies from idil this is incredible oh thanks sweet peas oh they're so sweet i love them shut up it's, a, ah, it's an idyll notebook god i love notebooks oh my god i love it i love it i love it i love it that is awesome and then inside this cute magnetic pouch some little cards that show you how to use it and a certificate of authenticity so I've already seen those beauties and those came in this blue box so i'm gonna pop those in here because honestly on the day to day i'm wearing a deal <laughs> like i'm pretty much every day all right so in here you can see some new studs i'm really keeping it minimal lately i love first of all i have really gravitated towards silver metals like this white gold from Adil because it's just gorgeous, maintains its luster, it's beautiful. I think it goes really well on my neutral skin tone. Since I'm neutral, I can really take advantage of either rose, silver, or gold, yellow gold, but I've been loving white gold lately. And silver is hit or miss on me because I do have a nickel allergy, so can't really wear a lot of silver jewelry. But I've been loving like the minimal stack, you know, just like stud, 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 stud. Like I want to get another one and put like a teeny tiny Adil stud in silver right up here or something like that you know what i mean i think like that would be so cool have a silver chain with their pear-shaped bezel set pendant and i just got one of their newer giant look at that look at that y'all look at how pretty that is the sparkle on this there are no direct lights on right now like this is just natural light and the sparkle is insane absolutely insane so i'm gonna go ahead and get a chain and put that on real quick okay so here you can see i have my white gold idyll chain with the what do you call this pear-shaped bezel set diamond gorgeous stunning amazing i wonder what it would look like if i put them together let's see why not because the whole point of this brand is to be modular and to really like create new signature looks that are not just like simply off the rack you know what i mean so let's try it let's customize it let's design our own jewelry shall we look at that look at that it's like a toi et moi type of piece and there are three different jump rings so you can do like 16 18 14 choker style I usually do it on the shortest setting because I am quite petite. I know y'all think I'm like super tall. Everybody's always like, I thought you were so much taller in real life. I'm like, I'm 5'2". I'm teeny tiny. Um, yeah, um, I kind of love that. <laughs> this is my little look. 
This is my new look, like without a doubt. Look at how beautiful. So that is what I got for Christmas from Idil. These, and if you haven't already, if you didn't get something on your wish list or you have a gift card to spend from wherever, maybe you got cash, definitely consider checking out Adil. As always, you guys know that I don't share who I get everything from, but I will share that I got a couple of books and I'm really excited to read them. I've definitely added them high up on my TBR. This is called The Enigma of Room 622. And the person who gave me this book said that it was their favorite book of the year. Their, their official book of the year was this book, The Enigma of 622. She said it took her on a complete emotional roller coaster. I don't remember exactly the emotions she said, but I think she was like amazed, flabbergasted, like sad, horrified, like thrilling. I think it's a thriller if I'm not mistaken. I can't wait to read that. Um, and then this one is called Marked. This is the first of the person who gifted me this book's series. So she said this is one of her favorite series and this is the first book. So I'm excited to get hooked into, um, this is a vampire uh, series. The running theme for me, fuzzy socks. Love good, fuzzy, crazy socks. Matter of fact, HB got me some, which I'm not supposed to tell you who they're from, but HB got me some socks this year. Like he always does. He gets them from the Hallmark store every time. The ones with the dogs on them. I love them. And he got me this time the Cavalier King Charles. Spaniel, dog, sock, whatever. Various chocolates and hot cocoa, stocking stuffers, and this amazing hyaluronic acid hand cream, which is incredible. I've already tried it, I've already used it. I also got a pair of new Birkenstocks, which was such a surprise because I did not ask for anything for Christmas, but my secret Santa got me this one. And these are a gorgeous pair of suede and shearling. It's like that perfect, like I'm the person who wears my Birkenstocks sandals all year round. Like it does not matter if it's winter, like I'm wearing them. We don't have snow here in Houston, so I wear them. I don't wear them with socks. I'm just like, just free balling it. You know what I mean? So these will keep, my feet nice and toasty in those winter and transitional months um, before it's really appropriate to wear normal Birkenstocks. Um, so I'm really excited about those. That was a very luxurious treat. Um, speaking of shoes, I did ask for one and one thing only, and that was this pair of Western style ankle booties. I had been eyeing the ones from Hermes. They're called the Vegas boot for a while. They're one, never in stock, and two, they're extremely expensive and I didn't know if they were gonna fit well or feel comfortable. And so I was hesitant to, since they never come back in stock, um, I actually came across these in an Instagram ad. They're from Tacovas, and they are one of my favorite boots brands anyways. Cuero Boots is my number one favorite boot brand and Tacovas is my number two. Um, but when I saw these, I was like, these are <laughs> the Hermes Vegas boot. Like down to like the stitching, snip toe, very, very subtle pointed snip toe, very high heel, cushioned on the ball of the foot. Um, a lot higher boot than I anticipated, but very stylish, looks great with a cropped pair of like stove jeans, stuff like that, you know what I mean? Like, it's a vibe, I love it. I love it with black jeans, I love it with, you know, again, wide leg trousers, like that are kind of cropped, and then like a white, crisp white shirt, oh, a red lip, you know what I mean? It's a vibe, it's a look. I've already worn those, um, I wore those, wore those to a Christmas gathering, and then I got this sweater, oh my God, it's so, if I could just translate to you how soft this is, it's like that material that you know is not gonna pill, that doesn't catch on everything, that doesn't snag your rings or your earrings or your jewelry, but is still like incredibly soft. This is from a brand called On 34th, and oh my, it is so soft. Um, it's the Batwing sweater in the size small. I also got some various stocking stuffers from L'Occitane, which is a, like a bath and body company, like a French brand. And um, I got these little soap, what do you call it? Fizzy bath cubes. Well, some are fizzy, some are not. Some are bath cubes, some are fizzy bath cubes. And they smell divine. I gotta tell you who gave me this one, HB. Did you guess? He loves getting me things with the dogs on it. And this is like my little Lilu. You know, as we know, Lilu's life was saved by a critical care team here in Houston this year. Um, she almost died and um, after spending much of my life for several weeks in that hospital with my dog, um, Lilu and I have gotten even closer than we ever were before. So this was this is actually pretty fitting and very touching. So this is a double wall of uh, vacuum insulated 
tumbler and the style is Maltese and the brand is Serengeti. And then I am gonna put all of my lovely new jewelry pieces in this gorgeous jewelry case it came from Idil. So definitely highly recommend checking out their accessories. If you have a gift card, that you're looking to spend um this is this is like a really easy way to get something super luxurious from them without jumping in full fledged with like a jewelry piece snaps are super durable very like robust quality like nothing squishy fl like flattened um you know like this is crush proof sturdy not like something you would get potentially off of amazon do you know what i mean like this is really really nice and embossed with the Adil letter. So make sure you check out my link in the description box to see what wonderful sales they're running, if any, and um, make sure you just check them out because in general, they're a wonderful brand. And if even if you can't buy something today, you can always bookmark it or add it to a wish list or send a hint to a friend. That is everything that I got for Christmas. As far as what I gave, I gave so much this year. I took my staff on an impromptu visit trip to Barnes and Noble and one by one they each had a set amount of time to pick out whatever they wanted to buy in Barnes and Noble whatever they could carry within a certain time frame it was like 30 seconds I ended up being closer to like a minute for each of them but that was so much fun um, I took my whole staff out to like a really nice fancy restaurant and um gave a bunch of like perfume and cosmetics like went on a shopping spree to Ulta and Sephora for my secret Santa and then I also oh for HB I got him a bunch of things I bought him a Rivian <laughs> I bought him a um a, a Ninja Thirsty which is like a, a soda carbonated beverage maker thingy and then I got him an ice cream machine and then I got him like a bunch of little like juice mix-ins or whatever for the Ninja Thirsty machine I got um, the kids, man, I got the kids, let's see, they got from Santa and from us, they got crazy cars, like bumper cars, they got a new bike, a new, um, what's called a Miko robot, um, and then, gosh, just a bunch of like art supplies, creativity type stuff, a sketcher, um, like a, that's called the fly, fly catcher, Sketcher 2.0 or something like that, Smart Sketcher 2.0. Um, they each got one of those. I gave one of those to my nieces as well. So I bought three of those. I got um, a ride-on toy for one of my nieces. That was Paw Patrol. Um, a huge six foot teddy bear, <laughs> stuffed teddy bear. Yeah, it was a wonderful Christmas. Um, it really felt like some, some years you feel like you get a lot more than you gave. This year, I really feel like I gave a lot more and that's really the goal. If you're blessed, if you've had a blessed year, like you pass that blessing on to other people is, is really the way that I feel about it. And that was sort of how it went this year, which was very fulfilling, much more rewarding, much more gratifying. I'm proud of how much we were able to give this year. And I um, hope that we can always outdo ourselves every single year. So yeah, I am going to get the groceries. The groceries are outside, so I'm going to get those because Instacart arrived. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to check out the link in the description box to link for links to everything that I mentioned here in today's video. Bye!